next part of the setup with your Evolve is J2534. Your tool includes a J2534 compliant device and the six foot USB cable. Also it included an instruction guide to install the J2534 drivers. Without these drivers on a laptop, this tool will not work. So we have to install this. I'm gonna show you how. When it comes to J2534, we also recommend you use something like our OTC 700A, stable battery supply. This will maintain a clean power supply while the vehicle is being reprogrammed. So now we're gonna to go to the laptop and we're gonna show you the setup of the J2534 drivers. According to the Evolve installation guide for J2534, it tells us that we need to go to otctools.com slash evolve. We go to where it says downloads. And you see that it says Evolve VCI J2534 support. On this page, it explains that you need to install the driver to be able to complete J2534 processes. So let's go ahead and do the download. This page is requesting our name and email address. Then it requests for the VCI serial number. You'll find that on the back of the tool. Go ahead and enter that number onto this page. Pay close attention the difference between a zero and an O. This is a very common mistake when entering the serial number for this tool. You may notice this window pop up that asks you to run or save the file. Just go ahead and hit run. Now you can see we're at the part where it's asking us specific questions about the setup on this laptop. And we're gonna select English. Make sure that you pay attention to the warnings and follow the on-screen information. The install may take a little time, just be patient. And now we're finished. All right, so now the driver's installed, we're ready to do J2534 reprogramming. So let's go to the vehicle next. Let's go ahead and set up the car and the tool and start doing J2534. And of course, we need our OBD2 cable connected to our VCI. As we talked earlier, we're gonna need our 700A battery stabilizer connect to the vehicle. So let's go ahead and do that and get everything set up so we're ready to go. Many of the newer cars, it's hard to find the battery post. So this particular vehicle gives us access to put the connectors right here, a little jumper terminal. Don't forget to turn on your power supply. So we're gonna set it to reflashing and I'm gonna take the voltage down to right at 14 volts and we're now ready to do reprogramming. Now connecting your VCI to the laptop, you are given a six foot USB cable that has a proprietary USB connection for the Evolve. What you're going to need to complete J2534 is a USB cable with a B connector, such as a normal printer cable. Connect your VCI to the vehicle's OBD2 connector. Connect your USB cable and USB cable to the laptop.
you will see a little sign come up that says it's installing the driver package that you installed earlier. And if this is your first time reprogramming, the best place to go to get your information is NASTF.org. That stands for National Automotive Service Task Force. This website will take you to all the manufacturer links just by clicking on them. On the left hand side, I'm going to go where it says OEM reprogramming information. We're doing a Chevy Impala, so we're going to General Motors. And there are actually videos on this website going through the same process that I'm going through with you. We're going to click on AC Delco. TDS.com. If this is your first time on AC Delco, then you're not a registered user. You'll need to click on where it says not registered user, click here, and fill out all the information, all your personal and shop information. From that point, you'll be able to go forward. If you already have a subscription, log on to it at this point. I'm now going to hit enter. Just follow the steps on the screen and accept the privacy and terms of condition and continue. Then you'll select service and programming, which will bring you to the page of cost for reprogramming. You have several options here. You can do daily, monthly, or yearly subscriptions. Once you have purchased your desired subscription, click on where it says access your subscription. As these icon questions come up, take the time to read them and answer yes or no or okay. We are now going to select service programming systems, SPS. Take the time to read through this screen as it explains that General Motors uses Java to run their software. Select Start SPS. So now the installation is complete of the GM files. Go ahead and hit done. On this page, just go ahead and hit skip. You're not going to install an MDI or a Tech 2 drivers. Your installed J2534 drivers should read MRVCI plus aftermarket J2534 VCI. I am only going to do reprogramming of ECU, not replace and reprogram. So I select reprogram and next follow the on screen advice, turn ignition off. Vehicle battery fully charged, which we have our maintainer. We're connected with our tool. Let's go ahead and hit next. Now we have to set up the vehicle that we are going to be working on. Now that we entered the vehicle information, you can see that the tool communicated to the car and it shows us the VIN number. Now we need to verify that VIN number against the vehicle's VIN number 
to make sure that this isn't a PCM that's been changed prior to you working on the vehicle. So let's go ahead and verify that VIN number. We know that the VINs match, so we're ready to go ahead and do reprogramming. Go ahead and select Next at the bottom of the page. Then pick the controller that you want to program on a General Motors. And we're going to pick Engine Control Module. Programming. And then Normal. Select Next on the bottom of the page. The GM AC Delco web page, you can see what's talking directly to our vehicle. We know we're ready to go. We gotta select information that we wanna program. The only option that we have for engine control module is the main operating system. We go ahead and hit next. Okay. We can see the General Motors website downloading the software directly to my laptop using Java, then through the VCI that's connected to the vehicle to the vehicle's PCM. This is what we consider J2534 reprogramming. The reprogramming is now done. Only thing left for us to do is disconnect the hardware and we're done. We hope you found this video to be informative and helpful for setting up and understanding your Evolve basic functions. Remember, if you have any issues whatsoever, you can contact our tech support or visit us on otctools.com.